Good morning, plant buddies. How are you? It's Jello of Jello Sanctuary. I know it's been a while um, since I posted a new video here in YouTube. I've been quite busy with work and some other stuff. So today I just like to give you a, something about alumite. So let's talk about that. I know that we've discussed it before during the Aloe Hype event. So I'm going to um, talk about it again just because I had a recent encounter with an orchid leaf mite. And I'm creating this video just to warn you guys uh, in terms of proper care for your aloes um, so that you, know, you won't be as devastated as I was when I discovered one of my TCT yellow tagweed alumites. Okay, so this is a good example. This is uh, an MP var uh, that I got uh, a couple of months back um, from one of my friends' seller. And if you're going to look at it, it's actually it it actually looks very healthy. Um, it doesn't show any sign of um, issues or disease. But uh, recently, when I got back from my one-week vacation, uh, when I stayed at Living Desert Philippines for one week, just to, you know, relax and unwind and go to some places, because um, regularly, I touch my plants. Uh, well, <laughs> not advisable, but uh, just to check on them. Um, and this is one example. So, if you can see, this looks very healthy without any issues. But... Dun, 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 dun. It just disintegrates just like that. Diba? Look very healthy yung leaves niya. From, from the top of the leaves, wala kang makikita ng mga issues or whatnot. Um, ang ganda ng variegation niya. Ayan. Until you touch it and then yan yung makikita mo bigla na lang siyang makakalas without any warning and that's what that's how it looks inside i know i'm not sure if i can zoom it further and so it's rotten to the core it's rotten to the core there's no more option left for you to salvage this plant because this is you no know, this is dead it's gone and because of that it prompted me to uproot my other plants that is nearby with that plant because i actually have two uh plants that had that same case one is the other one located in the balcony um upstairs um it's a tct yellow tag so what i did is that i pull out all of the plants uh, beside that plant um, and decided to uproot them just to make sure and check if there's any symptom uh, similar to what happened to that tct plant so first let's take a look at this uh, allo tct kraken so far, if you're just going to take a look at the plant itself, uh, it looks like it's okay. But if you're going to look at it closer, you will see this one. This red coloring here on the sheets. It doesn't look like it's the color of the teeth so i'm a bit concerned there on that part and then let's uh, try to lift this up it's been with me for quite a while now i think uh, since last year and see it also has a uh, discoloring there here and on the pops too so 
that is concerning to me at least even on the pop so I really have to uproot this one clean it up and uh, do some treatment so I hope it's not going to progress when this is hellfire a red tag from TCT as well let's see something happening at the center I think there here is there anything here this one see the reddish part reddish part that is something I have to be concerned of. But this is a very gorgeous plant. Take a look at this Santa. This is a TCT Santa. Look. It's already pinkish. So I think the infestation is happening here. Already let me try to focus that doesn't want to focus there you go on the leaf sheet it's showing as well there it's blooming so I hope this is going to be just fine again guys I'm just trying to see if this red marks or pinkish mark are really indications of an orchid leaf mite so that we can try to prevent because right now as it stand there's no proven fix or treatment to those heavily infected already you just have to throw it out so again this is a tct santa this one is a tiger fish so let's take a look Very pale, reddish. So we'll see. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Uh mm huh. -hmm. So this one we need to treat. This is uh, another yellow tag, which I think is also a hellfire. Got a couple of pops there. Underneath the leaves, let's see. There. I'm a bit concerned. Because it's already at the center. There, see? I don't know. And let's take a look at this yellow tag here. Is there any signs? So normal burns. This one doesn't look like it has any. So we should be safe here. I hope. Nothing. So that's just dirt. You don't have to worry about that. Just clean it up. So we should be good with this one. And then here's another yellow tag. So here, I think I have to be a bit concerned because it, there's a lot already on the edge of the leaves. This one's there. This one's. So let's see if there's something on the body already or in between the leaves. Looks like there is something there. No. So again, let's treat this tag. Let's see. So far, it's giving me quite a few pops. No red tinge on the leaves, on the leaf sheet. Hope everything's going to be okay. 
that's just a discoloration to the sunburn what else is there anything else here i need to be worried about no i think we're clear on this one this is a DCT Hellfire. So let's see. Clear. 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 Clear for Hellfire. Thank God. This is a white tag. C center non underneath the leaves non on the trunk there it's a bit reddish so I'll be concerned but at least it has not dominated the plant yet we should be good on this so this oh that's just a natural color or distress color of the plant for the teeth so like what i've mentioned earlier at the start of the video we were able to discuss aloe mite specifically the orchid leaf mite during the global meet uh, at the aloe hype event uh, we were able to talk about aloes in general and we were able to touch on the pest uh, that they encounter uh, when growing aloes so i'm going to show a snippet of that discussion so that we can learn from them again so i hope you're going to enjoy it hey what's what's your arch enemy aloes as well uh, or so aloe might become become easy compared to the pest that I faced recently. Uh, there's another type of mite. Uh, I would call the, the leaf sheets, leaf, leaf sheets mites. Have you ever seen that? These are uh, very small, but bigger than the aloe mites. They're red in color. Oh, and they, stay, they, they only hide in the leaf sheets. And the result of that is that the aloe that got infested with this mice will have the rot in the heart, the heart rot, and then die. So this is worse than, yeah, this is very scary and worse than the, the, the aloe mites. And I throw away tables of aloes uh, because of this infestation. Uh, at first, I thought it was some kind of fungus because it, it rot in, in the heart. Right, so it's rot in the in the core of the aloe, and you cannot save it. So I thought I spray a lot of fungicide, and nothing helps. So I so I open up the leaf, I investigate. So I found these small mites that's uh, uh, living inside these leaf sheets. In, in, is this the one, Vijaya? This is this look like this. Yeah, this is an infestation. How about yesterday? Oh, okay. This is this is very scary. You you have to uh, separate this plant and destroy immediately because you cannot save it. Uh, this this I compare the pictures to a lot of things. There's no information on the internet about this pest, so I con I, I I look at the the books on mites on the on the uh, pathogenic mites, and I found that. It is closest to what is called the orchid leaf sheath mite. Okay, orchid leaf sheath mite. Those infest the orchids. And mm. orchids are monocots, right? Monocots, which are uh, related to, to aloes. So I was investigated back to when my nursery was in Bangkok. So I found that uh, my aloes, that particular table was sitting next to uh, the where I put my orchids, you see? So mm. I, investigated, I investigated those orchids and I found the similar mites on those orchids. So actually, I am quite certain that these mites uh, cross and, and uh, they move from orchids to aloes. The ones, uh, the aloes, that the, the tables are not close to that 
that all kids have found no infection. So I, I, I think it's, it's the all kid leaf sheets might, and these are very scary. I, I mean, once you find it, <clears throat> this alone cannot be safe, have to be thrown away. And even the chemicals are not effective on them because, uh, because they live inside these leaf sheets, right? When you spray whatever, and most of the, the chemicals my designs are not systemic, right? Mm -hmm. So they, most of the chemical medicine are not systemic. So it cannot get to them, the chemicals. So a lot of uh, damage can occur. So I, I just want to warn a lot of growers that grow aloes, maybe close to orchids or whatever. If you find this kind of hard rot for no reason, please investigate. Uh, the mice inside the leaf sheet. It looked like the powder, red, orange powders inside the leaf sheet. I thought it was some kind of fungus spore, but then when I, I used the magnifying lens, I look at it, these things walk around. So it's actually not spores. These are actually mice. Yeah, so this is new paste, which is, I would say, 10 times more destructive than the, 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 the aloe mites. Yeah, I hope nobody get them. <laughs> I actually lost a couple already because of that. <laughs> so so thank I, you. I, I, thank I you for that insight. Yeah, so because I, I throw away the whole table of it, so now no more. But I hope nobody get them. <laughs> I have also had that experience on a few of my imports, and I kept thinking that I was doing something wrong. So at least I know it's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is very relevant. I have my my spouse Tony. He he's an orchid grower. We have an, a collection of orchids that rivals the size of our aloe collection. So, um, I've not seen anything like that before. But I have seen posts about these mites online, and they completely terrify me because aloe mite, in my opinion, is an annoying nuisance. But this is collection devastating. Yes. You know. Yeah. Yes. Because you can treat alamites even on just a single plant. Hmm. Right. Usually. Yeah. Right. Usually you can at least excise it and then use hmm. preventative measures, things like that. Yeah. And yeah, because I remember this new thing and it's it's, it's scary. And not, not a lot of people know about this. So I, I just I need to warn uh, those who grow maybe close to all kids. Because I, I researched this, uh, this pest species is actually quite worldwide. Uh, it's found in the U.S. It's found in a lot of tropical areas around the world. So it's, you have to be careful. Hmm. Yeah, because yesterday, um, Chong had a, a talk about aloe wars. And there was an incident in Bukidnon, somewhere in Bukidnon, that he actually went over there. To, and get the sample from this aloes and brought it back to his laboratory. He actually cultured everything, if there's any bacterial infection or fungal infection about it. And then the, the picture is totally the same of what, the, what, he, what he's got. And this would, would make sense because Bukit Non also is in a highland and they grow a lot of orchids in that area. So we have to go back and see... Um, and possibly this might be the cause of the jump, jumping of the species of the pest hmm. into the aloes. Well, thank you for that, Vijaya. It, it does really make sense about it, you know. Goodness me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just try to look at, you know, when they have, whenever someone has this problem, I try to tell everyone, uh, hmm. you know, careful. This is very, this is the real thing. This is very scary. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, because so, what, like, what I've noticed, sorry about this, so I, I live in the UK and a lot of my plants are from Europe. When mm. people were talking about um, about alumites, even if I go to different um, to a different um, um, garden centers here in the UK and all of these plants that I've been having, I don't know why, but I've never seen any single mite infestation in here. I'm not sure if it's the weather, not at all. Uh, so when people were talking about um, alumites, it looks weird and all this, this, it looks not nice. 
I have never seen any single specimen here in the UK at all whatsoever. I don't know why. Maybe the weather yeah. is too wet, it's too cold. I don't know. Hmm. It's weird. Okay. Do, do you need sample? And it's it. I've never seen. I, I went to different. I went to different nurseries as well. Um, oh, that's that uh, they were selling aloes. I picked up some of them. I have never seen any single one of them at all. I have no idea why. I um, wonder. Maybe, if, I wonder if maybe it's to do with that. You said there's not a lot of hybrids there, and there are some species who seem to be a lot less likely to prone. get. Yeah, less mm. prone to if mm. at least less prone to show symptoms of alomite. Um, but some, I think, are actually pretty resistant to even infe getting infection from them. So maybe that's part of why. I yeah, possibly. Just... possibly. Yes. Because Europe is Euro Europe as a whole is not a, um, we don't have a lot of hybrids here. I even contacted some of the people in the States, like asking them, why are this Karen Zimmerman are not available even in the UK at all? I've never seen, you know, it, it, is, it is impossible to get these things here. I even got my aloes from Spain. You know, I have to find all this red tape bureaucracy, to name it, just to get them to the UK because I, we don't have any in here at all. Mm. That's a blessing. Mm. <laughs> and then I would just like to share this picture because we are talking about aloe mite. So this is how yes. it looks like, Greg. Mm -hmm. And stupid of me, oh, sorry for the term. <laughs> I actually got excited because the first time I got this one, it's in the inflorescent. So I thought, oh my gosh, am I going to get a crested pop out of the inflorescence? <laughs> but only moly to find out it's just alomite and they have to discard everything off. So just for, for everyone um, that's watching us, so this is how an alomite looks like. We've all been there too. Yeah. First time you see alomite and it's not just like a big gall, if it's, you know, on the inflorescence or somewhere like with leaf surfaces, you're like, oh, that's kind of cool, you know, or like some, sometimes it just looks like a crested pup and it doesn't have a gall yet and it just causes weird growth. So, correct. Right. <laughs> what about you? Can, can I ask that? Uh, yep. So, actually, there is not just alomite. Uh, there's another mite I found in. But mostly not in aloes, but in, in, in closely related Hubbard tears. Um, I think they, these are what's called the garlic or the tulip mites. And uh, the, the symptom is somewhat similar, uh, but it's not doesn't form the cows very much. Uh, but it it makes the leaf, that new leaf that come out, deform. Um, like the how a lot of Hubbard tears um, in Asia uh, have the new leaves that become deforms. Uh, and so so these are actually, uh, I think it's the, the the tulip mites or the, what's called the, the garlic mites. And these live, in a, live inside the plant the same as the, the, the aloe mites. So these have to be very careful also. Hmm. Right. So we need to put masks on all the aloes. <laughs> I, I was actually about to say that, Sharon, is this the COVID-19 of aloes? <laughs> That's what we got to do. <laughs> That's going to be a problem oh, if we have gosh. to keep meat six feet apart from each other. <laughs> I'm doomed. <laughs> we'll, we'll lose all the space that we have. <laughs> Mm -hmm. We're going to do social distancing on them. And that's, a, I think, a good question. So are, are mites airborne or can, can they travel by air? Or it, does it have to be a direct contact with the plant? So that's so, airborne. airborne. Yeah, as far as I know, they can travel by water, uh, strong wind. Uh, people, if you touch your plant, don't realize that it's infected and then move to care for another plant, um, things like that. So I always put... Whenever I cut, have to, I bought actually a Delta Dawn that had um, a large gall. It was a pup, but it was just a whole gall. And I, to test my skill with cutting it out and treating it, um, and it hasn't had a recurrence in six, seven months. So, um, but where was I going with that? Oh, so when I dispose of, when I disposed of the, um, Ball, I always put it in an airtight Ziploc bag and I throw it away in my 
trash in my kitchen, not in my my big garden trash outside because you know when they I, I want to make sure it's contained so that in case it falls out of the big can or something like that, it might travel on the wind back to my plants or someone else's. So I'm always I always try to be careful. And we have a friend in one of our groups, Shannon and I, who says he burns them. <laughs> So, no, I've, uh, mm, yeah, I've, a couple of them that are really bad, or if they're common enough that, you know, like, I can get another one, I won't bother cutting and treating it, you know, um, sometimes you just gotta destroy them, but generally, yeah, I've, I've, heard, I've heard of people say they burn them, um, you know, sometimes you get people actually who, You'll see online, this topic comes up a lot in Facebook groups, and some people act like alumite is like a death sentence for your collection, and I think it's important that people know that it's not. Like, and if you're buying from any, even really any major source, like online, even in stores, eventually, if you're collecting aloe in any, you know, reasonable number, you are going to encounter alumite. So, you know, destroying every plant you see with it if you want to collect them, it's probably not going to work. So it's better to learn how to deal with it. And the main thing I hope that, I just hope that we don't see a widespread, um, you know, problem with this, this possible orchid mite that seems to be, you know, cropping up because that sounds way worse than L mite by a lot. So here's a microscopic view uh, of the orchid leaf mite that uh, we talked about during the Global Meet at the Aloe Hype event. Um, thank you to Vijaya Vajajitvan for sharing us this video and uh, introducing us to this orchid leaf mite. So that's it for now, plant buddies. I hope you were able to learn from this video. Uh, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel. So happy planting until the next time. Bye!